What is up, Ron? How you doing? How you doing, Pack Rat? Hopefully you guys can hear me good. I had to reconfigure basically everything. It's interesting, this is the first time it's it's actually connected me to YouTube through the streaming app. Before I had to be on YouTube to do it, so it's kind of strange. Bring an issue here. Still trying to, to get this uh, all set up, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to hear you're good, bro. So I'm trying to trying to um, get this all set up here. It took me to to do a to to do the chat. I had to go to a different thing, but I I just can't see. I can't write anything in. I can't put any messages in. I have to do it in a different screen. But I know I laugh because uh, my son last night he's finishing work and he calls me up and he says, "Dad, he says you know we're off for a few days together." Why don't we go uh, on a road trip and go fishing somewhere for a few days? And that's why I'm laughing. We don't have mountains here. Our mountains are uh, speed bumps, as you know, here in Orlando. How you doing, Henry? Pack rat, I, I tell you something. I was so, so sick yesterday, bro. It was unreal. What, hap what happens is, I, is, is a lot of you guys, I've been ill for a very long time, but sometimes it just it just gets me it gets to me the medications and everything and then i have to purge my system uh you know through like some slimming teas even though i'm already purging my system i have to do that to get whatever illness is inside my stomach whether it's from food and it's just a weird thing how you doing cardiff well hello listen well been a minute how you doing Good to see you guys. As you can see, I've got uh, my stuff back there. Uh, I got, let me go on my uh, my phone and see how the the stream is looking. And I'll just turn down the volume because we don't want to hear me. I don't want to hear me. Let's see if it'll let me chat here. Yeah, there we go. I can just use this to do the the chatting. Let me close that other screen up. I always forget I can use my phone. There we go. So let's see. Uh, now I guess we'll check the delay time. It's not supposed to be much. But we'll see. I tried to ask for a shorter time, but it, it's going to give me a little bit longer than I want, I guess. Still waiting. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the chat's pretty accurate. 
I think my screen is frozen, at least for me. Oh, pack rat. Potato harvest. That's cool, man. I love a good, I love, I love potatoes. My favorite uh, dish my wife makes is uh, she mixes up, she mixes up um, potatoes and sweet potatoes. So it looks like my my screen through the live stream is frozen, at least on my end. But I, I don't know. Can you guys do you guys see any movement in the screen? Cardiff, since when do you live in Florida? I finally saw my hand on my screen, so it's a little bit behind. Uh, I'm up to speed on the chat I believe but I'm gonna be behind on the, the screen in the film I guess I I don't remember you living down here bro it looks like I'm playing catch up I'm getting caught up more now with the video connection so as you guys can see in the background um, we've got the uh, break we have listed back here I didn't put it in the description let me go ahead and, and see if I can go ahead and, and edit this and, and add it to the description yeah I can so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, put the information in here description okay, so I appreciate you guys jumping in um, we're just I'm just gonna go ahead and get all the information so I can um, put this in for you guys well you're not that far then you're only an hour and 20 minutes away I say an hour and 20 minutes but you I it really it's 45 minutes but you know, depends on where you're at in Daytona Beach. Depends on, because you know Daytona Beach is as early as uh, I-95. You know, by the racetrack. So that's only like 45, maybe 50 minutes away from me. Okay, let me copy this. Okay, let me edit. Okay, so it should almost, almost. Okay, let's see now. Let me pull the stream back up. Let me check. Okay, so yeah, so I've gone ahead and I've edited uh, the details. So that way you guys can see the break, see what we've got. We've got the the 2020 three three packs of heritage the tops chrome value the diamond kings we've got the uh, the Donruss optic blaster then we've got the 2020 series 2 and then we've got the Bowman blaster so it's two teams for $13 and uh, so far we do have three spots sold so if you guys want to jump in a lot of cards in there always those potentials especially with that Bowman 2020 we do here guys we've got uh, a lot of different things as you know we got a lot of stuff up here on the on the table 
we can do uh, some sales, some chit chat, some whatnot. What do you guys want to do? Let's see here. We can do some card sorting. I always have cards to sort, as you guys know. Let's see what we got here. Oh, these are my 2020 chromes. Oh, I still got to sleeve some of these things. What we'll do is I'll just, while we're waiting, I'm going to sleeve some of these uh, these cards. There we go. Hope you all having fun today. There is Mr. Paul D. himself. How you doing today, Paul? Hey, Buffalo is looking good this year. You know, it's going to be nice to, to watch, uh, you know, the possibility it's going to come down to Buffalo and uh, the Steelers. And, 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 uh, <laughs> And, of course, Patrick Mahomes. There's a lot of great teams in the AFC this year. Yeah, the stream is just a little bit choppy. How's the audio sounding? What's up, Chachi? How you doing? See, this was kind of cool. I got both of these in a break. You can see you've got the that refractor. But it doesn't say it. It just says chrome. But it doesn't say refractor on the back. You guys know I'm a little bit more chatty than, than, than I am right now. Still not feeling 100%, but... I'm I'm hanging in there. I I I fought so hard for man nearly 2 hours to to get this to get this whole thing going because the I forgot that we we decided to just wipe the computer the other day. Um I was having problems with stream with Streamlabs and then uh nice cards these up oh, there's one hiding in there not not that's why I'm going through these because you never know that's a good thing about sleeves oh, they always always are your friend except when you put them together in a stack and with chrome it makes it even harder for these cards you know <laughs> I love naps too, bro. I always love a good nap. Let's see what else here. Yeah, here's the rest of these. 
I thought these were kind of cool. I like these cards. You know, Larry Walker, Matt Williams. These are top finest. Tony Gwynn. These are all from the uh, 94 Tops Finest set. Chris Hammond, Bruce Ruffin, Dean Palmer, Gary DeSar ah. DeSarcina, Erickson, let's see, Whitmore, Cora, you know, so there's a, you know, not the not the greatest time to be. There weren't a lot of too too many great players back then. Uh, Dave Stewart was a good one. There's Jay Booner. So we see a lot of these guys, you know. Jim Tomei, John Schmoltz, that was a good one there. Let's see, he been probably pitching just a couple of years at that point, if I remember correctly. Vaughn, Girardi. Lucina, Kelly, Bichette. This is the original Bichette here, Dante. And he'd been playing for a couple of years at that point. Darwin, Lance Johnson, David Cohn, Arsler, Williams, Oliver, Galaraja, Kent, Armal Gates. Whoops. That's the only thing about the having them sleeve chrome. Oh, there's a hidden Dylan. Let's put him back up there. The only thing about having all these chrome in the sleeves, guys. Well, uh, Cardiff, I'm glad that you're <laughs> collecting uh, NASCAR cards and not NASCAR fans because, you know, we, we would have a, a, real, a, a true confession right there in the live stream that we would have to report to the police. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it is a gorgeous molt. Let me see if I pull him back out again. There he is. Yeah, so there it is. Beautiful card. Um That. He tied Warren Spahn's club record for the most strikeouts in a game when he hit five, 15 um, when they beat the Expos 2-1 to one on May 24th, 1992. That's just a gorgeous card there. A little OC, but but just a, just a smidge. Nice card there. Let's see. So do you guys want to do... Uh, Sales, chat, what do you guys want to do? You know, I always got a lot of stuff here. I always have a lot of stuff I go through. Oh, yeah. Got to make sure I'm not lagging. It's a little behind. That's all good. Got to change my modem out. Try to get something a little more, uh, I guess, updated. They're saying that when I'm this close to my modem, I shouldn't have the, the slowing down effect. And uh, I want to show you guys something that I picked up. And it's something I'm going to be doing in a giveaway down the road. Um, still sealed in this uh, container. It's uh, the card guard packaging. 
and this is a metal tin in the original box that has a Michael Jordan tribute set for when he played baseball. So every card in here is uh, going to be metal, obviously. And as far as how many cards are in here, it's more of a research online. And it's interesting how they call this a, a was it sonically sealed packaging to protect the investment designed to keep the value in. So it was kind of cool when I found this and I, I picked it up. And uh, we'll be do, we'll be doing this as a, a giveaway at one point. Um, not today, but we're going to be doing this down the road. We definitely thought that this would be really cool. So you know, as a giveaway later. And uh, I can't remember how many cards are in that tin, but I, I, I obviously jumped at the opportunity to pick that up when I saw it because I had never seen these. What's funny is I actually have no Michael Jordan baseball cards except what's in here. But I know how many folks, you know, they throw up crazy prices, and even for these. And um, I like the, the value, uh, what it is. It's really whoever you get who you, you get it from that's the original value was was ten bucks for it and it, it really is kind of still the same value but it's more about the nostalgia I think than anything and uh, there were they also had one I didn't pick it up I didn't have a chance yet but they had a, a Ken Griffey one too uh, junior but I didn't have a chance to to grab that yet I just wanted to share that with you guys so that down the road we're going to be do something with that. Let's see. Let's see here. So you guys, you guys want to see me open this up live? While we're sitting here chatting. I'm game. I'm game for what you guys like to try to do right now. Obviously within reason. As you can see, we have uh, one of them Fairfield boxes that are uh, hard to find. So I guess we'll go ahead and open it up. Because we can. Because we're here. We've got a little time on our hands. As always, you know, this is the best place to open them. From the bottom. And... There we go. Look at this. The date on it. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Uh, I guess it doesn't want to get it up close. Let's see here. There we go. So this box was manufactured in the 6th of April. Right? 2020. This is like... This is a COVID box, guys. <laughs> so this was packaged after... After... April. What is up, boss? And let's see what pack is in here. Looks like we have an Allen and Ginter 2019. And it literally says look for autograph and relic cards. Huh. So we actually have a real pack of cards in here that you might get something out of. That's cool. 
let's see here. Let's see what we got in the box, guys. Let's see what we got up in this box. And Henry, if we can pull a hit, that'd be awesome, right? So here we go. Let's see. Let's put the pack up there for now. Well, let's move the pack out of the way. Because you never know. We might find some cards that we want to stick on the wall back there. Let's see here. Let me bring this a little closer. So we've got, let's see, Pete, Randy Reddy, Mike Scott, no hitter clinches division. This is going to be from the 1986 Leaf set. Donruss, nice. Let's see. Rex Hudler, Mike Heath, <laughs> Bob Tewksbury, Rod Scurry. There we go, Dante Bichette. It's a fourth year card. Uh, let's see, Calvin Torve, Sid Bream. All right, so they gave us the highlights. It's kind of cool to get that. Dave Rigetti also. John Cangeliosi, Don Slott, Pat Clements. Let's just let's do this. Here we go. Danny Chartable. And we've got Glenn Davis. We're hoping we can find some, uh, maybe some Hall of Famers. Ron Jones. Rod Nichols. Jay Bell. Scott Scudder. See, look, see, I told you the highlights. Look at that. Oh, is this a 75? No, 78. Nice. Donnelly Demi Demi Demeter. This is from the 1978. That's a cool card. I always like these these oddball sets. And what we're going to do is let's grab these. Uh, see how many of these Donruss 86 that we pull. Because that is, that is kind of cool. These are these are you know kind of cool cards. So we got that really cool one from 78. We got the 86 adding up over here. Oh, there we go. And I know, I know. I need to get that mat. Then, let's see. Tom Nieto, Rob McClure. Let's see. Tom Filer. Corey Schneider. Let's see here. There's Terry Pendleton. That's not bad. Let's see, Sam Horn, Bill Gullickson, Terry Kennedy, Gary Varsho, Gary Ward. Let's see, here's Mike Timlin. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a blue parallel? And it's kind of cool how the card was flipped around. But I believe that's a blue, blue parallel, right? Kevin Correa. Or a bluish parallel. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Brooke Jacoby. JT Snow. Look at that's a nice 83. Rick Sweet. This one's pretty crisp too. That's a nice uh, nice look. I like that. Let's see. Mark Thurmond. Gerald Perry. Willie McGee. And here's the Expos, Montreal. And here's a Prospects card. Let's see. Randy Wolf, Phil Norton, and Michael Bowie. Oh, wow. 1981. John Stearns. That's in pretty nice shape, too. Jose de Leon, another one from uh, 83. George Bell, Willie McGee. Hey, no problem, Mike. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you stopping in. Rupert Jones. And these are Chris. I'm, these almost look like they came out of a box. They came straight out of a box into uh, into this set, or into this box. That's cool. Let's see, Ed Hearn. Ivan Calderon. 
There's a Will Myers. Bip Roberts. He was a happy camper back then. Yeah, I like that blue border. Let's see. Here's uh, Wally Joyner from the uh, 87 Tops All-Star card. That's nice. I like this next card. There's Tom Glavin. Donruss Leaf. It's in pretty nice shape, too. It's his uh, fourth year card. Go ahead and sleeve Glavin up. And then we're going to sleeve this up, too, because I, I, I like these cards. back there. There's a nice Tom Glam and Leaf. Let's see Jerry Rice, Mike Young. Oh look at that nice George Brett. Looks pretty clean. Probably a 8.59. Hall of Famer. Mr. Pine Tar himself. Okay, let's see. We've got Bill Buckner. Buckner, Buckner, Buckner. So many folks. I can't thank Bill enough for missing that ball as it went through his legs. Good man. <laughs> Jose de Leon. And oh wouldn't wouldn't you know it? A Movon rookie card. Movon. Movon Movon. He's a little 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 bit dinged up, so we'll give him a dinged up sleeve. Nonetheless, still a nice uh, little rookie card to get for him. Luis Rivera. Tim Belcher. Jeff Dedman, Kelly Gruber, Mike Flanagan, let's see, Chuck Malone, Rob Ritchie, there's a Leaf, Dave Magadan, Mike Hartley, a oh, nice Hall of Famer there, Tim Raines, whoa, this will be from the uh, 88 Donruss set. Not too bad, not too shabby. Looks like we're not going to have a hit this time, but that's fine. Julio, rookie Julio Peguero. John Dobson, Matt Winters, Fred McGriff, Walt Weiss. And we've got Kevin Moss, Ron Karkovich. QB Brooks, let's see here, there we go, Kurt Young, Gerald Young, Gary Wayne, Tim Belcher, Pat Sheridan, Jerry Willard, there's a Leo Gomez, this is the 92 Fleer Ultra. Stadium Club checklist. Fred McGriff. There we go. Cool, cool. Rick Roden. Ken Schroen. Carmelo Martinez. Barry Jones. Another Terry Pendleton, different year. Charlie Moore. Doug Jones. Glenn Braggs. Chuck McElroy. Oh, nice. I literally I, I literally just uh, pulled one of these the other day in, out of something totally different. Um, it was like the stuff that I got. So I actually didn't have this card the other day, but this card is awesome. Because this is going to have the uh, Reggie Sanders and Ryan Klesko. 
And that was Klesko's uh, rookie season there, I believe. And there's Arthur Rhodes from the minor league set. Chet Lemon and Jimmy Key. So overall, I think this was a pretty nice pack, a nice box. It wasn't too bad. Um, I think it had uh, pretty decent stuff in there. Uh, this pack alone probably, <laughs> without it being open, is worth you know more than the box. But you know we're itching. Let's see if we can't find something in here. Because if it contains if it contains a redemption card, then we got to go ahead and we got to you know redeem it. So let's find out, guys. So here we go. Let's see what we find in this. This is the 2019 Allen and Ginter. Here we go. So we've got Mancata. Nice Ozzy Albies. Oh, we got a mini. The look out below the devil's throat. All right. Al Kaline. Wow, look at how big Frank Thomas is. He was a big boy. And Miguel Andohar. So this pack actually had some pretty decent players in it. So it was kind of cool. So it was kind of neat, you know, that we got, uh, you know, we got a lot of nice cards. We ended up with four of these highlights that was kind of cool. Mike Scott, Dave Rigetti, Fernando Valenzuela, and Jose Rijo. So this was 2, 25, 52, 46. There is a... Uh, a set out there that you can buy um, that'll come in a box. Uh, let me see. If I if I don't, I think I had one of those at one time. Let me see. Because I have all kinds of these uh, little set boxes. Yeah, so like I can have uh, the '84, but the problem is, is uh, uh, there not all the cards are in it. But I do have a lot of other cool stuff. Like I have the the Fleer Classic Miniatures from uh, wow 1986, and the complete set is in here. I got like the 1990 Superstars from from uh, from Score, and if you look at that list. That list is uh, pretty amazing, all the different players that are in this box. So every th single one of those is in here. So it's kind of cool to see that. And then, uh, let's see, 86 Fleer, 85 Fleer, 86, 85, 90. Let's see what else we got hiding up here. Uh, see a score 90. I got several of these tops. They're uh, all complete sets. And then I opened one of these the other day. And this one here is, is still sealed. So I do have another one of these also. So there's a lot of neat stuff in the wax cave, guys. A lot of neat stuff in the wax cave. Put that up there. That way they're, oh, let's get these two back out of here. And there we go. All right, so that's all said and done. Let's see, where is. Oh, okay. So not bad. You know, we pulled all these highlight cards. The ink, you know, it had some ink issues when they were when they were putting these together. Renat Zella, Scott Rigetti, we've got Tim Raines, George Brett, Kevin Correa, Parallel, Volt Movan, Rookie, Tom Glavin, and then this really cool card from 78 set from TCMA. And they had a lot of stuff back then in the 70s. I don't know how long that they uh, they were manufacturing stuff. But it, they did a lot of stuff back then, 77, 78. I've got a lot of different years with uh, cards from the from the different sets. It's kind of cool to, to see them. There's a lot of older cards in here too, which surprised me. And 
let me go ahead and put these back in here just makes it easier to move stuff around when you do that I just use painters tape there we go that way it's put back it makes it easier to move it set it aside What else, guys? What else can we do here? I got, uh, let me see, what do I have? There's just so much stuff, guys. I if you guys remember, I was this the other day. All the buttons, these buttons that I collected when I, back in 1984, if I remember correctly. Yep, these are from 1984. And it was really cool. I have got a whole bunch of these in here. I really got Earl Hershiser, Fernando Valenzuela. You know, a lot of Hall of Famers and everything. I had, it was so funny, uh, one of my friends, he texted me, he didn't, he didn't realize I, I, I'm on YouTube, he's funny, Since you're the most vocal, Henry, what are you up to today? Let's see who we got in this. Uh, do is this as we'll put them down here. See, we got Dan Quisenberry. You know, we showed you Fernando. Got the camera back farther than normal. I have to do a little little adjustment here. Let's see here. Look at this. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. Look at that. Pete Rose, right? His average at this time was uh, 286. Not bad. Man has more hits than anyone except, uh, I think, uh, Ichiro. We showed Hot Hershizer. Let's see here. Lance Parrish. And these are cool little, little stick pins, you know. People used to wear them. Obviously, they still can be worn. Let's see who else. Uh, let's see here. Manny Trio. Chili Davis. Kirk Gibson was pretty good. Let's see, he was averaging 282. Here's Willie, Ant Willie Randolph. Let's see. There's Burt Blunt 11. I probably got some doubles in here too and don't even, you know, I know I do, but. Uh, let's see, Candelaria, Lee Smith. Oh, there we go. There's doubles of Lee Smith for the Cubs. So I guess I'll pull a, him aside. Bert Bly Levin again. Let's see here. Tony Pena, Dwayne Murphy, Pedro Guerrera. Let's, oh, there's a good one there. Reggie Jackson, when he was with the Angels. 
back in 84. Carney Lansford. See, that's something Jim's, Jim, A fan, Jim, Jim, the A fan, I don't even remember how he says it. Ace, Ace fan, Jim. He probably, he likes Carney Lansford. It's one of his favorite players. Um, I wonder if he has this. Let me set that aside and find out from him. Oh, here we go. This one got all scratched up because, you know, it is Doc Gooden. Doc Gooden. So I've got this the, the dot good back there. So hopefully I can find a second one. I can I'll just pin it to the, the sleeve he's on. George Hendrick. Let's see. Rod Crew, he's a Hall of Famer. Don Baylor. Yeah, we do more stuff, guys, but nobody's really talking. So I you know I appreciate you guys uh, hanging in the stream though. Charlie Ho, Bruce Sutter, he was really good. Let's see, Paul Molitor is good. Scott McGregor, he was pretty decent at that time. Uh, here's Joe Necro, he's Phil Necro's brother. Leon Durham. Let's see, Willie Hernandez. Jody Davis. Let's see, Mike Marshall was pretty decent at that time. There's Leon Durham again. Bob Denier. There's Doc Gooden. Okay, so we got both of Doc Goodens. I knew I had two of him in there. Joaquin Andahar. He was pretty decent at that time, too. Ario Lopez. Fred Lynn. Juan Samuel. Andre Thornton. Let's see. Goose Gossage. He was really good. Steve Garvey was good. Buddy Bell. I have an autograph card of his somewhere. Dave Concepcion, Gary Carter, set that aside, pretty sure Carter's Kids has that, Greg Nettles, nice, Ron Say, Rusty Staub, Steve Kemp, Keith Hernandez, Joe Necro, that's a double. There's his bell. Speaking of Phil, right? Joe and Phil. There we go. There's Phil Necro. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's him, though. <laughs> oh, there's a pin sticking out. Push that back in. Mookie Wilson. Nice. Tom Bernanski. There's Rusty Stav again. Dave Rigetti, George Bell, formerly known as Jorge, Tommy John, the man that is famous for getting his surgery, and then they started calling it Tommy John surgery. Gave him life, allowed him to pitch more years. Ted Simmons, there's Dale Murphy. Let's see. Bill Buckner with Boston. Andre Thornton. That's a double. Larry Boa. Jose Cruz. I always liked him as a kid growing up. Bob Horner. Bob Denier. There's Bob Horner again. There's Goose Gossage again. Bill Buckner again. Mark Langston. And Mark Langston again. There we go. So that's all the doubles. I think we got all the doubles out. Let's put these back in the other box. All 
Right, let's see. Yeah, this is this card has to do with that uh, the baseball back there. Doc Gooden's baseball. And let's see, speaking of Doc, let's go ahead and see if we can't pin this up here on the sleeve. there yeah so see this is where the the, the baseball came from got it in a, a break because I had the uh, Mets it has a lot and so there there show you shows you right there um, his uh, his highlights so he's a four-time all-star 1984 NL rookie of the year 85 NL Cy Young award winner 90, 85 pit, pitching triple crown, two-time strikeout leader in strikeouts, 1986 World Series champion, and a no-hitter May 14th, 1996. So like I was telling you guys, he's he's really was a really good player. You know, a lot of people only look at, you know, the hiccup he had. In a sense, I'm not saying that we, we shouldn't uh, take a look at uh, the entire scenario. We should always. It's just I think he, he doesn't always give credit get, gets the credit that he deserves for uh, for how well he really was he was a really good player really good pitcher all right so I've got a I got a bag, I got a bag, I got a box, I got a bag. Let me see where I'm going to put those spare ones. Let's see, I think I can yeah, put them in probably here. See, there's not Gary. Set Gary aside and Carney. I leave those two out. This dock is gonna go back in the box since I took them both out. And put these rest. We'll just put them in a sleeve. Just slide them in here. You know they all got a little bit, little scratches. You know, you figure I got them when I was a kid. We didn't have all the protective stuff that we have today to throw stuff in. So we're just going to set it back in here. And there we go. Oh, so there's another one. Tucked away for another day. Well, I really appreciate you guys uh, stopping in. Um, obviously the, the break is going to have to be done another day. Uh, we would do some sales or something, but you know, you guys are just chilling and relaxing and I appreciate it as always. Um, we've been hanging out for what, an hour or so now. Uh, let me see, almost an hour and I'm going to relax a little bit. I appreciate all the well wishes that I got from everybody. Appreciate you guys. Um, let me know. You know, the information is in the description. Um, all you have to do is shoot it to my PayPal. 